If you're looking for a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, then I have a product for you. I just got this battery and I'm gonna show you why you need to buy this battery. And I know what you're thinking. Well, there's dozens of batteries on the market now that are all in that same kind of price range that all kind of look the same, that all kind of act the same. Why should I buy this battery? So stay tuned and I will show you why this battery stands out. Start with, I'm gonna go over the specs. I'm gonna do some capacity tests. And then I'm going to show you specifically why this battery stands out and why this would be a good addition to any system. So to begin with, it came packed nicely like you'd expect a professional battery. It's a good looking battery. It's a Group 31 battery. It's got M8 connectors. Again, it's a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, lithium iron phosphate. Uh, let's go through some specs real quick. Uh, first off, it has a very, very good user manual. Uh, by far the best manual I've seen. Um, sometimes they're really small fonts. Uh, really good manual. It gives you everything you need to know. Uh, you know, all the standard safeguards. Um, how to test it, how to connect it, uh, how to charge it. Uh, really good information for uh, people that are starting out that aren't familiar with how to set up a lithium iron phosphate battery. It goes into everything, which I think uh, new people are going to really appreciate. Of course, it has a built-in BMS. Group 31. Uh, you can put up to four in parallel and four in series for a total of 16 is what they recommend. Uh, nominal energy, of course, is 1,280 watt hours, which we will be testing. Recommended charge is 20 amps. Recommended discharge is 20 amps. Continuous max is the full Monte. You can do 100 amps with it. So it comes at about halfway charge, which is pretty standard. Recommended charging voltage is 14.6, which again is pretty standard. It has all the standard protections you'd expect, overcurrent, discharge, um, overcurrent, uh, charging, uh, temperature, both low and high. So it has all of the things that you would expect. So now I'm going to charge it up. We're going to run it through a couple of tests and I'm going to show you why this battery is going to be a good choice for you and why this battery stands out among other batteries. So the battery is at 14.6 and zero amps so it's a fully charged battery so now i'm going to turn the battery charger off and i'm going to put it on a low c battery tester which i'll explain how that works in a second so I just attach it red to red black to black so this is a very simple battery tester you just turn these dials and it'll apply a load you can see as soon as i turn it on this will light up and this fan will start spinning so I'm going to turn it on. You can see it's four, it says 14.4. These are usually plus or minus. They're usually pretty close to being accurate, but uh, there it shows it's fully charged. I'd like to do about a 0.2C, and this will just show us the time, the watt hours, which is going to be the energy, and then the amp hours, which is going to be the capacity. And in a few hours, we'll come back and we'll see how much it pulled out. Well, no surprise here. It easily beat the capacity test. It's 105.8 amp hour and 1347 watt hours so no surprise easily beat capacity so the first reason to buy this battery is as simple as their very good user manual it has everything in it on how to set up your battery how to charge your battery how to test your battery even how to use it with a charge controller more advanced people forget that a lot of this stuff is not as intuitive to a new person. So if you're buying a battery for the first time, all of the information you're going to need to use this battery is in this manual. And I've never seen that in another manual. So this is a very impressive. So another reason is low and high temperature protection. So you see that? When I apply some coal to it, it shuts off the battery. Then as soon as I put my finger on it, warm it back up, it starts charging again. Another incredibly important reason to buy this battery is the overall build quality. They use a JBD BMS. They use EVE cells. These are high quality components. These are not cheap knockoff second rate components. These are high quality components. And look at how thick their wires are. A lot of people overlook that. The wiring, the cells, the BMS, these are all top notch, high quality. Right there is a good reason to buy this battery. And the final reason, which is related to the build quality, is the overall value of this battery. 
you couldn't build this battery cheaper. If you were to go out and buy these high quality Eve cells, it would cost more than the battery. Then you still have to buy the BMS and the wiring and the case. So this is an incredibly good value to have this level of build quality at that price. I mean, this is cheaper than buying a lead acid battery. So it's just a no brainer to buy this battery. You think about it has low and high temperature protection. It easily beat the capacity test. It has incredibly high quality components with an excellent build. It's got a five year warranty. I mean, it is a really, really solid battery. Not only would I recommend this, I'm gonna go buy a couple more of these batteries because these batteries are absolutely phenomenal. If anyone out there has used this battery, I'd love to hear your take on it. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I look forward to talking to everyone soon.